dan saya akan teruskan dengan uh, uh, let's take a deep dive into the US market we will start with one of the largest sector within the S&P 500 which is the technology dan ini uh, anda dapat this is how you can see the uh, overall look of the market it shows a lot of uh, sort of a red and pink color over here and I'll start with the biggest sector of technology which is the Microsoft which was down by the 0.72% and stood at the level of 367 0.94 and the latest updates on Microsoft it said that it is adding a button to its Windows keyboard that would pull up the tech giant's co-pilot service in the first change for the device in nearly three decades. The co-pilot key announced on Thursday marks the latest effort by the company which is investing billions in AI to incorporate the technology in its products. The addition of the key underscores the Redman, Washington-based company's ambitions for AI-enabled PCs. These machines were on advanced chips capable of running large language models and apps powered by the technology directly on the device instead of the phone. All right, moving on, the other sector is Apple. It shows the um, it shows that it was down by 1.27% and stood at the level of 181 91 and the latest updates on Apple that it continued to struggle in the new year on Thursday plumbing an 8 week low after Piper Sandler handed the tech giant its second downgrade this week on worries about iPhone demand the rating action knocked Apple shares 1.4% down and 181.6 dollars causing its market value to decline nearly 170 billion dollars so far in the opening week of 2024 and Apple still remains the most valuable company by market value worldwide with a capitalization of over 2.8 trillion dollars and its recent declines put it only 8% below an all-time high closing price in mid December and despite the downgrade from Piper and Barclays two days earlier there are still at least 27 analysts who have a buy or higher rating company and that's on Apple moving on to Nvidia it shows a green color here which uh, it shows that it was up by 0.9 0% and stood at the point of 479.98 and Nvidia search startup Perplexity AI has raised 37.6 million dollars from a group of investors including Nvidia and Amazon founder Jeff Bezos the latest example of investors hunting for AI startups that challenged the uh, incumbents the round was led by the venture capital from IVP and valued the company at about 520 million dollars according to company NEA Nvidia Databricks and Bessemer Venture Partners also participated in the round and perplexity such as tools enable users to get instant answers to questions with sources and also citations it is powered by a variety of large language models or LLMs that can sum up and generate information from OpenAI to Meta's open source model Llama and San Francisco California based Perplexity AI which raised by 23.6 million dollars much last year in round led by IDEA said it has served more than 500 million queries in 2023 while spending few marketing dollars all right next up is Google Let me show you the Google. It shows sort of uh, like a pinkish color here. It was down by 1.65% and stood at the level or point of 138. Point zero four. Qualcomm on Thursday said Samsung Electronics shows that the Alphabet's Google plan to use a new computing chip is designed to power mixed and virtual reality headsets. And the Qualcomm chip called the Snapdragon XR2 Plus Generation 2 will be able to handle data feeds from a dozen cameras inside the headset. It comes as competition to sell what are known as mixed reality headsets, where a view of the outside world is passed through to the user via cameras. Is expected. to heat up this year with Apple's release of its Vision Pro headset and TF International Securities analyst Ming-Chin Kuo said the iPhone maker could start selling at the price of 3500 and Google and Samsung did not specify the products in which they plan to use the new Qualcomm chip and the last one is Meta Meta uh, it was up by 0.77% and stood at the level of 347.12 and the latest update on Meta is Mark Zuckerberg sold a nearly half a billion dollars of Meta platform shares in the final two months of 2023 after a two 
after a two-year hiatus in which the company's stock price hit its lowest in seven years. The Meta chief executive sold shares on every trading day between November 1st and, and the end of the year and unloading nearly 1.28 million shares for about $428 million, according to Tuesday regulatory filing. On average, each sale took $10.4 million, with the largest on December 28th and $17.1 million. And before this period, Zuckerberg had not sold Meta shares since November 2021. And the company's share price rebounded 194% last year from a seven-year yellow near the end of 2022 and meta shares outperformed those of every other major tech giant except nvidia corporation and last year and is now near its september 2021 record high all right moving on to uh, our next update uh, i can share to you now is the tesla all right for tesla it was uh, it shows that uh, the it was upped by let me search for tesla it will take some time over here all right it's here. All right. It shows that it was down by 0.22% and stood at the level of 237.93. And latest updates on Tesla, the company's managers delivered the news to salaried employees. And the report stated adding that the four employees from different departments told Bloomberg News that they believe the move was widespread.